What up, y'all? So today we got uh, nine holes here at Bobby Jones Golf Course. It is the like best, probably public golf course. Eh, yeah, I give it best. It's probably the best golf public golf course you're gonna find in Atlanta, especially. Um, uh, they have a great thing called Youth on Course where juniors under 18 can play for five bucks. I will be taking advantage of that today. Um, but yeah, a lot of the things that Bobby Jones is doing is really, really cool. Um, as you can see, yeah. you're kind of playing, uh, not necessarily in the city, but you got buildings behind you. Um, and they do a very cool thing with the reversible course. So there are only nine greens, but there are 18 holes here on the property, which is really cool. A new thing that a lot of golf courses are doing nowadays. Um, Bobby Jones was kind of the first people to do that. Um, greens are very undulating, but fairways are kind of very wide open. So um, should be a fun one. Uh, I've played here a bunch, so. But I wanted to kind of film it and just see how we do. So let's get out there. All right, so I'm going to be doing the voiceover here. Um, so this first hole is a dog leg left-ish par four, pretty wide fairway though. I'm taking driver and I hit a pretty good one here. I think it was my first swing of the day. So this one ends up kind of on the right side. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, but it leaves me a pretty long shot in here. Uh, the fairways were really, really soft. It had been raining all day and it was really, really empty. Um, so I had 185. This is a cut seven. Um, and I got the cut part, but the starting line was right, as you can see by my reaction there. Um, I'm okay with that miss. That's a good miss. Uh, left myself a pretty easy chip. Uh, I should get this up and down most of the time. And this is just a lob wedge. Uh, trying to land it about maybe halfway and let it release um, and landed it a little short there. The greens were really soft. Uh, like I said, just the whole course being really soft on this day. And kind of shown by the putt here. Just left it right in the heart, but about a foot short. <laughs> so kind of a tough start. Uh, not that, Definitely not the start you're looking for there on a pretty easy hole. So this second hole, very wide fairway. You can kind of hit it anywhere, but you want to favor the right side because there's a green side bunker on the front left that you really don't want to be hitting over. So my line is kind of where that you can see the cart path on like the right edge of the green. And that looked like a nice swing there. And it was. And that ends up kind of right where I was going for, right at the right side. Leaves me a nice angle into this hole. This is a nine iron from 145, trying to hold it off a little bit, but didn't hit it well and hung it out to the right again. So that's two in a row that I've had the exact same miss, short and right. Um, this is not an easy chip most of the time. This can be pretty tricky, but landed it nicely, let it release, and that's an easy tap in bar. So nice up and down there, pretty happy with that. This third hole is always giving me a little trouble. Um, and this is just a, again, same shot as the, as the last one, just a nice knockdown nine iron. And again, it's going to come up short and right. So that's three in a row. And this is, I'll, I'll take note of that in, in my head and adjust as I need to. And then that chip was a little heavy sounding. And again, not, not happy there. Because this is a big pot right here. Momentum. a nice stroke on it and walking it in so good up and down there good save and again this course Bobby Jones sits on the pretty much part of it is on top of the hill and there's parts in the valley it's pretty unbelievable actually for a public course and this is my favorite hole drivable par 4 like a true drivable hole and you always want to hit a good one and that that was not that was not it right there face was wide open good news is though it's also wide open to the right side of the fairway so as you can see walking down here 
and that's the Georgia State practice facility. So, college golfers, there you go. So here on the right side, um, this was not my finest shot. This is from 55. And that's kind of, as you can see, getting a little frustrated. That's a couple shots in a row that have been very subpar. So I decided to take the putter from off the green. Not too happy with that one, but that's still going to result in a par. So, not the worst thing ever. And then this hole's always really quirky, so uh, that was a really nice swing right there. But really, the play honestly is to go hit it up on the right uh, on the last tee box, because then you can pretty easily go for it in two. Uh, but still managed to hit a good one and had a shot at going for the green here. ball was nuked. That's probably from about 255 I think was the number. But a really really nice shot there. That's a tough second shot and to leave myself with a pretty straightforward chip always nice. And that's a right up to tap in distance so a nice birdie so getting right back at it. So first birdie of the day and onto a tough driving hole if you decide to hit driver, which I felt, I guess, good enough to hit driver. That was a really, really nice swing. Turned it over about probably a five yard draw. And that's gonna end up perfect, right in that middle left center side of the fairway. And I show this pre-shot routine part. It's a new kind of move that I've been working on with my knockdown wedges, is getting my hands more left. And you're gonna see this is a gap wedge from 100. And a really nice move there. That was really ni nicely executed from me. I thought it was a little closer than it turned out being, but a nice, a nice swing there. And definitely a birdie chance right here. Up the hill. And uh, just a hole. Another one right in the center. So this is a, <laughs> I don't know if this is allowed or not, but I hit it right of this lake on here on seven it doesn't really make sense to go left and play it the way the hole was designed and frankly i have a much easier time hitting it over here and having a wedge instead of having a seven iron in from the other side so this is technically the eighth fairway over here which is a par three um and then that that was a that was an okay wedge shot from about 120 and this putt's on the way oh and oh <laughs> Those don't go in very often, so we take those. So second birdie of the day, back to even par. So grind it back nicely after a pretty, pretty tough start. And good swing there. I'm sorry, I'm one under right now. I apologize. And so one under with this birdie putt, trying to get to two under. Can we make it two long ones in a row? And oh. I don't know how that one stays out. <laughs> so this hole right here is a really good example of the double greens they have here at Bobby Jones. So this is the hole we just played, obviously. Oh, the tee box back there, it's a par three. And then this whole portion of the green, this is probably 50 yards long. I mean, you can see the scale of these greens. They're huge. And so the first hole is a par five that comes all the way around here. This is the center line bunker uh, on the layup. So it's pretty cool. So like tomorrow, for example, this would be the first hole and then that's the green for the par five. And our hole is the tee box is right behind that fairway bunker. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And now to the ninth hole here, it's a par five. And trying to make a birdie shoot 34, that'd be really nice. Another really nice swing. I, I struggled early in the in this nine, but made a made a nice swing correction on the fifth tee box and have hit it pretty well um, for the rest of the way here. And again, another setup really well. And this is from 225. And I would lie to you and say that I was trying to lay up here, but no, this was just a really bad, really bad swing that stayed short of the ravine. This is a really nice shot right here. That's more lucky. Very lucky to have stayed out of the hazard, but 
pretty terrible lie and hit a good shot out of it. And that leads to a birdie putt. Oh. Oh. I can't believe that didn't go in again. Putted it really well though. The last uh, last three holes all had chances to go in, like very good chances to go in. And yeah, that's gonna do it for uh, this nine at Bobby Jones. I appreciate all y'all watching. And if you want more, I'll probably be doing some more of these. Plus it's always good to look back on a round of golf for me, um, see what I did good, see what I didn't do well. Uh, as of today, I think my takeaways are that I putted the ball well. Um, I made some putts, made a long putt, and gave myself some chances to go in. Um, and then I'll head to the range here shortly once it stops raining. It just started raining after we finished. Um, and then work on the irons a little bit, but overall I'm pretty happy. Shot uh, one under, so see y'all in the next one. Peace.